So in the previous video, I showed you how to set up uh, a basic program running a limit and a bump switch here. So we can see my bump switch in this program starts the pro, uh, our motor and the limit switch stops it. What I'm going to show you is keeping that same exact setup, I'm going to change the structure of this program. So I'm going to get rid of the if press buttons here. I'm going to come up to my uh, events and I'm going to grab a forever loop. And from there, I'm going to grab two if statements. I'm going to come to my sensing and those same uh, pressing the buttons there, we can see underneath there since we've added them. And instead of running them separate, I'm going to use these nested. So I'm going to use that same program if bump is pressed, stop motor if limit is pressed. I'm going to come here and download it. I'm going to run this. And again, nothing's going to happen. I'm going to press my bump switch. And the program is going to run the motor. If I hit my limit switch, it's going to stop, run, and stop. So it's another way of doing it. Rather, And when you get into more complex programming, when you use if statements and conditional logic instead of the linear logic we used in the previous